What's up, YouTube? Do you like today? Coming at you with another Star Wars The Force Awakens video. I'm really excited for this movie. I can't wait for it to drop. We're like, what, like three or four weeks away from this movie coming out. I'm really excited. I really want to see this movie. I know it's going to be one of the best films of this year. It's, it's just got to be. It's Star Wars, man. And I want to talk about Poe Dameron and his mission in the film. It seems like Poe Dameron is going to be one of the first characters we see in the opening sequence of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Because, you know, it seems like, you know, he's going to be the one getting captured and stuff like that. Going to be tortured by Kylo Ren with the Force. Maybe he'll be seeing some visions of the future. Maybe he's infiltrating the First Order due to a certain mission brought on by General Leia or Princess Leia. Probably going to be called General Leia because, I mean, Leia doesn't even have a homeworld to be ruling. So, I hope she be called a princess. That, that make no sense. But anyway, I think, you know, Pearl Jaren's going to be infiltrating the First Order. Gets captured, you know, learns the plans of the... Star Killer base, the new the new galactic threat of the movie, and then somehow escapes with the help of Finn. And you know, I don't know how. I don't think Poe Dameron escapes with Finn for some reason, because otherwise, don't you think Poe and Finn would be with Rey on Jakku? So I maybe Poe Dameron dresses himself up as a stormtrooper, then becomes a uh, well, and then escapes on his own somehow, or he goes in one of the escape pods, something like that. But that's probably going to be the case, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, Poe Dameron as a character, he seems like he could be the new Han Solo, maybe take over with the Millennium Falcon. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but you never know, things may change. Hey, he, I feel like we are going to be looking through his perspective when it comes to those aerial battles in The Force Awakens because he looks like he's a hot shot pilot. I could definitely see him being a character that can stick around for the whole trilogy, but he could die. I could see it happen, you know, in the first film. That would suck, but, you know, some people, you know, it's, a, it's Star Wars. There's going to be death coming upon us anytime soon so there's that and I don't think Poe Dameron is going to be a Jedi I don't think he's force sensitive I don't think he's that type of character he seems like a, the type of character that can crack a few jokes here and there he seems like he's really likable maybe a bit cocky at times you know maybe likes to show off seems like the type of vibe I'm getting from this character Poe Dameron you know I know there's some history if you look into the books and the comics and stuff like that about his parents and stuff always wanting to be a resistance fighter so this guy's definitely a brave dude just he's just waiting for his moment to be a hero i'm guessing so that's really cool but let me just in the comment section down below about poe dameron what do you guys think about this character what do you think his mission was for uh you know for the resistance i'm looking forward to seeing oscar isaac play this character in action hopefully he doesn't die in the force awakens and hopefully he's around for the whole trilogy or at least till episode eight if that's the case he seems like he could pull off that new Han Solo vibe to, her, to him. I don't think he, he might be a love interest to Rey in future films, but we'll have to wait and see how their their chemistry works or how their characters interact. So I'm looking forward to it. But let me just in the comments just down below about Poe Dameron. Like, subscribe, more content to me on Star Wars: The Force Awakens and other films in general. I'm Deepalex. I'll see you in the future.